you guys welcome to my what i eat in a weekend it's already been a crazy weekend so far i have been very busy today it's already four o'clock in the afternoon it's probably gonna get dark soon saturdays are usually crazy because i work a lot also look at my nail it looks so bad it's so broken this is why i can't have long nails i'm excited to film this what i eat in a weekend because i feel like it's going to be very realistic and it's just going to be not super planned out i'm hoping that this can be relatable for you guys it's okay to treat yourself and i hope that this video shows you guys that especially during the holidays i feel like the food guilt and all that stuff really starts to come out and you shouldn't make yourself feel bad for having a good time making memories with your family so i have dinner planned out for tonight nothing else in this video is really planned out it's just literally what I eat in a weekend so lunch was a little crazy I just had a smoothie and a protein bar because I was just busy and out at work that's kind of usually how Saturdays go I'm gonna head home I just stopped off at the library for those of you that are kind of like interested in books and what I'm reading I haven't been reading a book for the last like month or so just because I've been so busy with the holidays but I just picked up the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo this one's been a popular book very excited to read it I put it on hold a month ago and I finally got it so I am gonna start reading this hopefully this weekend and just relax because my work is done. Tomorrow's gonna be a really fun day for Andrew and I and I'm just gonna go home, cozy up and make a good dinner. Before dinner, I decided to celebrate the start of my weekend with some fun Christmas margaritas. So for this cocktail recipe, you're gonna need winter punch from Trader Joe's, tequila and triple sec, and I put a shot of each and then poured in the punch with no exact measurement, but then I decided that these glasses were way too small, so I had to switch it out, but we love a good marg. These are definitely worth making, they're so good. But for dinner, I am making one of our favorite recipes. These are mini meatloafs. Seriously, the best comfort food ever. I started by chopping half an onion, throw it in with a bowl of oats, tomato sauce, egg whites, and ketchup. You mix it all together with either ground beef or ground turkey. Next, I started prepping the potatoes to be roasted in the oven. I seasoned them with salt, pepper, rosemary, and thyme, and these tasted so good. The meatloafs get divided into a little muffin pan, and I'll put the whole recipe down below so you guys can follow that in the description. Such a good home cooked meal. Well, happy Sunday. I just spilled my coffee all over the couch and all the pillows. Luckily, most of it landed on the pillows which have like washable covers, but it still sucked. It got on my clothes too, but I think I got it all out. Now we're gonna have to make a new cup of coffee. This is so sad. Let's try this again. For lunch today, we're having some of the leftovers from last night. These don't look appetizing, but they're so good. They're like the best comfort food. And then we had a little bit of leftover rice. I'm just gonna put some ketchup on it and that's it. About to leave to go to Bush Gardens for their little Christmas town thing. And I'm so excited because I've never been. I'm just gonna make like a little yogurt parfait bowl. And I'm using the non fat Greek yogurt from Trader Joe's. A lot of times I use the Too Good yogurt from like other regular grocery stores because it only has two grams of sugar. But this is what we got because I went to Trader Joe's. And then we're gonna put some raspberries and some of this oats and honey granola from. Kroger. It's actually really, really good. The calories aren't too bad either. I feel like a lot of times granola can get sugary. I'm gonna make this up real quick and then we're gonna head out. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It's the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and Error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. 
I just wanted to end off this video by saying thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was a little bit short but sweet. I hope you guys still enjoyed and it was very realistic for you guys and relatable as far as how my eating goes on the weekends. I do have to say if we were to go to Busch Gardens again, I probably would not eat at the park. We got a pizza pretzel and it was good but it was a lot. It was very expensive like normal park food is. So it was kind of expensive for what you get and it was like good but it wasn't that good. So I think I would recommend if you're gonna go to Busch Gardens and do the Christmas Town, probably go to a restaurant beforehand and then show up to the park because the lines were also crazy long. It was still fun, it was still a really good night but I think that next time I would probably do it a little bit differently. And then we ended off the night with some hot chocolate. I forgot to vlog it but surprisingly that pizza pretzel was super filling. I also wanted to say that I won't be making another vlog until after the new year. So I hope you guys all have a good Christmas and enjoy all of your holidays, New Year's, all of that. And I will be so excited to come back and make a new video and just have a whole fresh start. I just need to take a little bit of a break because I've been so busy with dance and trying to get videos out here on YouTube for you guys. It's just time to take some time with my family and a little bit of a break. So I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Have a good Christmas and I will see you all next time.